Many people have a doubt that inverter we use when we do the wiring of the inverter then wire which is used in output power supply why do we use a single wire in the output power supply of the wiring why don't we use a neutral power supply so let me clear all your doubts through today's video i am using luminous company's 150 ah tall tubular battery with this inverter now we get two cables on the back side of this inverter for connection with the battery we will do connection of these cables with the battery we will connect the black wire to the negative terminal of the battery you will connect the red wire to the positive terminal of the battery now if i press the power button of this inverter the display of the inverter will turn on you can see the battery symbol here this symbol tells us the percentage of charge of the battery you can see l00 is written here this means that we have not connected any load to this inverter yet the percentage of the load that you will connect to this inverter will be shown here through this inverter to charge the battery power cable which comes along with this inverter I have not done any connection with this power cable. If I connect the bulb to this output socket, then you will see my bulb will glow. For now, I am using the phase and neutral power supply to make this bulb glow. As you have seen that we only use a phase supply in the wiring of the inverter. If I remove the neutral power supply, then for now my bulb will turn off. This bulb turned off because we have not provided a neutral power supply to this. Now, if I connect the charging cable of this inverter to the power supply. if i connect charging cable with this if i turn on the power supply then you will see the charging indication on the display of this inverter you can also see that the battery is now charging now to the output socket of this inverter if i connect both the wires of this bulb then our bulb will glow after removing the neutral power supply our bulb is now off that is at the present time the bulb is not glowing through a single wire now what i do by taking the neutral wire of this bulb is that i connected to the neutral terminal of this socket that is the phase and neutral power supply provided to charge this inverter with the same neutral power supply i am connecting this wire also so i put it here now after connecting this wire we have to connect the phase wire of this bulb to the terminal where we will get the phase supply in this output socket let me check it once if i connect my tester with the socket then i can see that my tester is glowing here that is i am getting phase supply on this terminal so i am getting phase supply on this terminal so i will connect this red wire with this terminal you can see that my bulb started glowing that is at the present time i have used only the phase supply of this inverter so my bulb is glowing if i remove this neutral wire here then my bulb will turn off i am removing it you can see that my bulb turned off so understand again how my bulb was glowing through a single wire this charging cable of this inverter here there is a neutral point in this charging cable this is to be connected to the neutral point of this output socket so to make this bulb glow you can use the neutral power supply of the main power supply or if you want you can also use the neutral power supply of the output power supply it depends on you whether you want to take the output power supply through two wires or you want to take the output power supply through a single wire in this way we took the phase wire from its output terminal and gave the neutral power supply from here only So here too our bulb is glowing and by connecting two wires also our bulb is glowing so this concept must have been clear to you that is the wiring of this inverter how we connect two wires or a single wire now friends if your inverter is damaged by chance then in this condition we have to bypass this inverter to bypass you get a switch here as you can see normal mode is written here and bypass mode is written here if you select it on bypass mode then your inverter will bypass that is the power supply that is coming here will directly supply power to this output socket and whatever load you will connect through this socket it will start working through your main power supply friends i hope you like this video if you like this video then do like share and comment on this video and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet then subscribe it thanks for watching this video